I've had a lot of people ask me for a video on how to use the Samantha font and I uh, had not done one yet uh, just because um, there is a lot of videos already on YouTube on how to use it but uh, it seems that everyone wants me to do one for some reason so I thought I would oblige and show you how to uh, get the Samantha font and how to install it as well as how to use it. So the first thing you are going to do is go to my website at www.troyyoung.com and then you'll see a link here that says buy the beautiful Samantha font and uh, this link is an affiliate link so I get a little commission when you buy it doesn't cost you any more and uh, likewise all of these links are affiliate links where you can buy various things and shop on my Amazon store and so forth so uh, you want to click this link and it will take you to mighty deals where you can buy uh, the Samantha font for as low as $17 now there are multiple versions of the Samantha font so you'll have to decide if you want one or all of them I believe when I purchased it I purchased the entire package a lot of people just use the Samantha upright font and so you want to click that and buy it and then after you buy it it will download to your computer now once the file downloads it will usually be in your downloads folder as a zipped file so you'll want to right click on that and extract it uh, you can say extract or in this case I'm using 7-zip so I'm just going to extract the files and then you end up with a folder that is unzipped and you'll have all of your different fonts in there and you'll want to install each of these however you want to pay attention to which one you're clicking on because if you have open type and true type font files for um, the same font you want to install the open type font uh, the difference is that it supports more features its newer version and true type fonts are really only needed for people who are need you know very precise control over the font sizes and kerning and things like that for uh, typesetting and desktop publishing and all that so for crafting uh, we're generally always going to want the open type font if you have the choice and so to install it you can uh, double click on it and it will show you the examples of the file and you can just click the install button and once you've installed the font uh, you may you will have to restart any programs in order for it to read any new fonts that you've installed and I've had some people tell me they had to restart their computer in order for design space to recognize the fonts um, I suspect that there are hung browser sessions in the background that maybe aren't getting closed out all the way uh, so if you if they don't show up in design space or another program after you've actually done the install just restart your computer and then check it afterwards Another thing I wanted to point out, uh, a lot of people don't even know this file is here, but after you extract your font or fonts you've purchased, or if you've downloaded them, there will be a PDF file that is the user guide for the Samantha font. So if you open that, uh, you'll have all kinds of information in here with examples, uh, how to use the letters, you know, all, all the layouts and, and different flourishes and fancy uh, type and things. And so you might want to just even uh, print that out to to have handy but uh, a lot of like I said a lot of people don't even know that's there and it is a, a, a nice uh, document that lines everything out for you now this next thing we're going to install is a program called main type now you can use a variety of programs to access the extra characters in the Samantha font such as the Windows character map or Babel map which is a uh, donationware freeware type program in this case uh, one of the better ones I've seen people post about lately is called main type and uh, it is a font manager so we can go to the highlogic.com website and uh, or you can just google main type is one word and it will come right up and we click on the download and click main type and it should download automatically and once it's downloaded you'll need to install it it is a, a program you need to install And once you open it, you can uh, choose to uh, purchase the commercial version or you can use the free edition. And so we can just click free edition and we can close that welcome box. And you'll see that it lists all your fonts with examples of uh, what they look like. And you can click on one down here on the right corner. Uh, you'll see samples of text and uh, to the right all the characters and all kinds of information that you don't normally see about your fonts and so what we'll do is go down to the Samantha font that we've installed and I'll use the Samantha upright font and when I click on it over on the right it shows me all the characters so uh, all the standard characters are there but then if you scroll on down you'll start to see all the special characters that people use and you will want to use in your projects with all the flourishes and swirls and uh, things of that nature 
Now you can do this a variety of ways. I'm going to show you how to do it in Design Space. And the important thing here is to go ahead and insert your text and change the font to the Samantha font. Now I'm in the Design Space 3 beta uh, because this is what everyone will be using soon. And after you've uh, changed your font, uh, you can uh, of course adjust your letter spacing so that we get everything down to where it's connected. And after we're finished here, I'll probably make some, some more adjustments. You can see this S is really close to the A. So uh, what we'll do is go back over to main type and I'll scroll down to find the letter S that I want. A big fancy curly S. And we'll get this one. You can click on it and see uh, the uh, examples. You have to be careful with your mouse. If you move it around, it's going to uh, choose different letters on you. And so we'll select this one. I can right click on it, select copy to clipboard. And then I'll go back to Design Space. I'll edit and highlight the S and then I'll paste in there. And then so that's where I get my special characters. So I'll go back to main type, I'll go down to the lowercase letters and we'll find a fancy A and that looks like a good one. So we'll right click, copy to clipboard, and go back to design space and edit our letters and paste that in there. And now we have our uh, fancy lettering. And if I want to make manual adjustments to this, once I'm happy with the design, of course, I can ungroup it and adjust the lettering just a little bit and then highlight it and weld it to make sure the overlaps don't cut out. So essentially the same process is, is what you do if you're going to use it in Inkscape or any other program uh, to design with. But uh, in, you know, for the most part it's real easy, especially with the main type program. And uh, it's real easy to see what you're working with and what letters you're choosing and uh, you can even type down here and get your examples too so uh, i highly recommend this uh, application uh, mac users are going to be a little bit different of course this is all windows uh, you know you're going to have different programs uh, but you're essentially going to do the same things you'll have to have a program i'm not familiar with the options for mac but you have to have a program that will access the alternate characters uh, similar to how i've done it here so Hopefully that's been helpful to you. Uh, again, if you go to my website at www.troyyoung.com, you'll find that link to buy the Samantha font. And uh, I'll also uh, uh, put in the uh, uh, description of the video down below the link to the site to download main type. But like I said, if you could just Google it, main type is one word, uh, it'll come right up and uh, you'll find it on that uh, high point website.